Hey bosses, this is Nina. So I'm gonna show you something very, very quick. It's how to justify text in PicMonkey. I posted something in my Pink Boss Academy. If you're not a member, go ahead and head over to my Facebook group now. I'll put the link below. But I asked the members what they want to know about PicMonkey and one of the big, or one question from Juanita was, how does she justify text? I'm starting here because I wanna show you what justified text is. And so we'll use, I'm actually gonna put just this one paragraph. So notice that this text is aligned on the left. So that means it's a one single line. Everything is aligned, right? In a line on your left hand side. On your right hand side, it's kind of jagged, right? And so if I click in here in Word, I'm in Word obviously, I can make these justified paragraphs. And if you look with the exception of the last paragraph, it should align on both sides, right? This probably isn't the best example. It's usually better if it has a lot of text. Um, this is actually the blog I'm getting ready to do a graphic for. So if you look, the justified text gives you clean lines on left and right side. For the most part, it's always left justified, but I know from being in the legal field that we'd, we'd have to justify it on both sides. And when you're doing graphics, it's the same thing. So now we're in PicMonkey and I wanna show you how to do this. It's not a button, unfortunately. I'm gonna show you how text looks when it's not justified. So this video is for Shopify, and, and I'll actually do it this way, Shopify alternatives, right? So this obviously is not justified, right? Now, if I do this, it's just gonna center it. This is gonna be justified on the right or aligned on the right. And so what you need to do is actually separate these. So you can just add another text box. Since I already have the text here, I'm just gonna duplicate it because I'm lazy and delete the text from the first one and text from the second one. Okay, here's the trick. You're gonna think this is so funny once we do this. You basically just need to make the one that has less text larger. So I'm gonna do 150 and you're gonna play around with this. It's easier um, in the old version of PicMonkey, the one that you're probably using right now, you um, can use the slider here and kind of play around with this. It's a little harder when you have to type it in. I did submit this as a feature request to bring back the slider like this so you can actually change the font size quickly. But the goal is to have it um, aligned on both sides and you're just gonna eyeball it. Now you can try to align these. Actually, I think I turned these off. Nope, they're on, okay. When you have your snaps on, um, your edges and center, it's a lot easier because you can kind of see where they align on the left-hand side, right? You do want it to align on the right also, but you're basically gonna play with this 105, right? And I'm just gonna take this, right? So I know there's a little bit left, 107. And you could either make the top one smaller or, see this is really, really close, right? Make the top one smaller or the bottom one bigger. So again, this is probably as, I mean, I can go to 109, see if that helps, but no one's really gonna be checking for you like that. So anyways, that's as far as I go. I usually don't, I'm not, you know, I kind of eyeball it, but basically now the text is justified. Another way you can do it if you're one of those people that are super duper anal is you can take um, a rectangle, not the square, but the rectangle. Um, and you can, and actually I forgot they changed this and they're two separate ones. So you can take one of these, right? and you could make it, I would make it a bright color. Let's just do red, right? Now, if you're super anal about like the way it lines up, you can either do this, right? So you can take one of these and remember you can change it. You're just looking for the two arrows. This is actually behaving a little bit weird. Um, this is the beta version, so it should be easier for you. And actually, I'm gonna take off the line and snap and this should be a lot easier for stuff like this. When you wanna do kind of free form, you take all those off. So I'm gonna click on here, 
and you can kind of align them this way or I've done something where I just created an actual line um, not with this shape but an actual line with one of these shapes things like that another way you can do it is if you turn back on I have this but if you could turn on your grids right and you can actually specify um, how many rows you want and you can align it that way right and what I would do is then play with this a little bit this way right and so this might be 166 okay and then what you would do is go down to the bottom and do something similar you've already seen me do this but let's go down to little five and you would probably you would just kind of play around with it so those are three different ways that you can do this, um, but it just depends on how much patience and what works for you the best. If you have another way that you justify the text, go ahead and let me know in the comments below, but this is what I've used in the years that I've used um, PicMonkey. Um, I usually just use the first one and eyeball it because I really don't care if it's really, really, truly justified, okay? If you have any other questions or you want me to go over specific items in PicMonkey, the new PicMonkey, let me know. If you notice on my channel, I've been adding several different PicMonkey using uh, PicMonkey videos using the new beta version. My goal in this is to um, check out different features. And so I usually use this for thumbnails and social media graphics. I know there's a lot of people who use it for actual graphics i don't have any examples of what i need to do for that so if you have some you want to give me let me know and i'll start using the other features like these right there's different features that you can actually add whiskers take away white teeth make yourself look skinnier add extra eyeliner all those kind of stuff i don't use none of that <laughs> but um if you want me to use those um i actually used to do a course on it so let me know ciao for now